Together we can make it on the road to Jannah You and me hand in hand on the road to Jannah All my life I've had this dream where I can live in peace Knowing you and me are on the road, on the road, on the road, on the road Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome to a new episode of our program Ila al Jannati Zumrah, Together to Paradise. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this program of benefit to myself and to all of you, inshallah, and to grant us the opportunity to go together to paradise with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibn al-Mubarak, the great Muslim scholar, mentions a story in one of his books about an old, wise, and pious Muslim man. And this man throughout his life had given advice to many people. And now it was time for him to go and he was about to die. So the people around them said to themselves, let's ask him for some advice. Maybe he has some good advice to tell us now that he's about to depart from this life. So they went to him and they asked him and he said to them two words. Two words, my dear brothers and sisters, that are the basis of today's reminder. He said to them, أَنْذَرْتُكُمْ سَوْفَ أَنْذَرْتُكُمْ سَوْفَ He said to them, I warn you against sofa. I warn you against sofa. So what is sofa? Is it maybe another name for the shaitan? Or is it a name of a serial killer that used to live with them at the time? Or what is sofa? Sofa, my dear brothers and sisters, is the Arabic word for I will. What do you mean I will? You know when you have this feeling that you're doing something wrong and then you want to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then you think to yourself, oh, I will repent to Allah, but not now, next week. Sister, when are you going to start wearing hijab? I will when I graduate from college. Brother, when are you going to go to hajj? Oh, I will in 10 years, even though I have the money right now to do it. Brothers and sisters, when are you going to stop dealing in riba? Oh, I will when I have $500,000 in my bank account. أَنْذَرْتُكُمْ sofa. I warn you against sofa. I warn you against I will. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, the man was telling them, I warn you against procrastination. Procrastination, which is putting things off. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, procrastination is one of the best ways that shaitan uses with good people. People like you. People who are tuning into this video right now because they want to learn something about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and about their deen, al-Islam. He doesn't use procrastination with bad people. You know why? Because with bad people, all he needs to do is just tell them, go ahead and do that sin. Just do it. But with good people like you, he tells them actually that they are going to repent. Shaitan comes to you and he tells you, you're going to repent from such and such sin that you're doing. But not now though, a little bit later, just a little bit later. Enjoy doing whatever you, haram that you're doing right now and then you're going to repent. That is one of the best ways that shaitan uses with good people. You know why? Because one of two things will happen. If you listen to shaitan and you follow the route of procrastination or putting off repentance or putting off doing any good deed that you need to do. One of two things will happen. Either you will die before you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because shaitan will keep telling you, oh, just do it one more time, one more time, one more time and then you're going to repent. Either you're going to die and you're not going to have a chance to repent or the second thing was, which is just as bad is that you're going to get so used to the sin that you're not going to be able to give it up. And you're not going to even think about repenting. And it's going to become just something normal that you do and you can't give it up. Procrastination, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back and we'll talk about some specific examples of procrastination. I'll see you in a moment, inshallah. Together to paradise, together to paradise, together to paradise. 
One of the biggest things that we procrastinate on, my dear brothers and sisters, is tawbah, which is repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there's at least that one sin that me and you keep doing over and over and over again. I don't know yours, and you don't know mine, but I know that it exists. And we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right now, and not procrastinate. Listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when He talks about tawbah in the Qur'an. Listen to what He says. وَلَيْسَتِ التَّوْبَةُ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ حَتَّى إِذَا حَضَرَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتُ قَالَ إِنِّي تُبْتُ الْآنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and tawbah, repentance, is not for those who kept on doing many sins until one of them, death came to him and he said, oh, I repent now. My dear brothers and sisters, we're not only talking about repentance today, we're talking about repenting fast and not procrastinating. Whatever sin that you're doing, stop it today. Stop it right now. Don't say, I will. I will stop it tomorrow, I will stop it next week because there may never be tomorrow, there may never be a next week for you. Remember that. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters, a few practical steps in order to avoid procrastination. I kept on thinking, what can we do, practically speaking, so that we can avoid being procrastinators. And I came up with three things. Three things, my dear brothers and sisters, that if you use them in your life, you will avoid procrastination when it comes to deen and when it comes to dunya at the same time. The first thing is to always create a sense of urgency for yourself by remembering death often. Death comes in an instant. Always create a sense of urgency for yourself and you will avoid being a procrastinator, inshallah. The second thing, is not only pray on time, but try to pray your prayers, especially Fajr through Maghrib, as soon as possible after the Adhan comes in. As soon as possible after the Adhan comes in. Because if you do that, then you will train yourself to be a person who does things right when they need to be done and not procrastinate and not put it off. You know, this is how the Shaitan works with us. It's time for Aisha right now, so the Shaitan tells you, you know what, you're gonna pray Aisha. But not now. You're going to wake up 15 minutes before Fajr and you're going to pray Aisha and then you're going to pray Fajr and then you go to sleep. And then the time for those 15 minutes before Fajr comes in and the alarm goes off and the shaitan tells you, oh, just wait a few more minutes. And you know what ends up happening? You end up missing both Aisha and Fajr. This is how the shaitan works. He makes us put things off and say, I will do them in the future. And the third way to avoid procrastination, my dear brothers and sisters, is a way that we learned in management called the five minute rule. The five minute rule basically says that if you have a task that needs to be done and you can't do it all at once, then at least do five minutes. At least do five minutes of it. I'll give you a practical example. If your desk is a mess and you need to clean it up and you look at it and then you say to yourself, oh, it looks too difficult. I'm going to start working on it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. I will do it next week. Instead of saying that, don't do that. Say to yourself, I'm going to clean it only for five minutes. And then I'll leave the rest and I'll do it tomorrow. You know when you do that, my dear brothers and sisters, one of two things happens. Either you start cleaning your desk and you get this energy that you want to finish it or the least thing that can happen is that you would have at least cleaned for five minutes and then tomorrow you'll have 95% left instead of having 110% left. These three things my dear brothers and sisters if we do them we'll stop being procrastinators. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make these things of benefit to us and finally I remind you and I remind myself with the words of the old wise man when he said to the people he said to them, أَنْذَرْتُكُمْ سَوْفَ أَنْذَرْتُكُمْ سَوْفَ I warn you against sofa. I warn you against sofa. Barakallahu feekum. I'll see you next time inshallah because it's really cold. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Together a paradise, together a paradise.